Hey, what's up, everybody? Aaron Zakowski here. So one of the questions I get asked a lot when I talk to a lot of B2B SaaS companies is how much should they be paying to acquire a lead through paid ads? Uh, so the way I like to approach that question is basically by starting from their estimated long-term value of a customer um, and then working from that point uh, through their conversion rates to kind of figure out, you know, what can they afford to pay to basically back into a profitable number for themselves. So starting from an estimated long-term value in this example, let's just say it's $10,000 is their value of a customer. Um, the next question we want to think about is, is what will be their, their CAC to LTV ratio? So what percentage of that revenue they're going to collect over that lifetime of a customer are they prepared to pay to acquire their customer? Um, with most of the companies that we talk to, it's often someplace in the range of a third to 50%. Um, so basically that would allow, let's say, a third for acquiring the customer, a third for other overhead and salespeople and um, fixed, um, fixed costs, things like that, and then a third for a profit margin, let's say. Um, sometimes earlier companies who are just kind of trying to create the initial momentum might be willing to pay more, might be paying 50%, might be maybe even more, kind of depends on everyone's unique circumstances. Um, but basically doing that math, you should be able to back into a target um, number. So based on the example here, if it's $10,000 LTV, basically you want to pay a third for, for CAC, so that means you could pay $3,300 to acquire a customer. Now, customer is not necessarily a lead, or every lead is not necessarily a customer. So we'd have to think about well, what percentage of leads can we turn into customers and then back through the math like there. So in this case, if we're able to convert 5% of leads into customers, well, the math would say we'd pay $165 for a customer. If we can up that to, let's say, 10%, well, then we can pay more to acquire a lead. Um, one of the things to keep in mind is the, the more you can pay to acquire a lead, uh, whether that's because your LTV is higher, your conversion rates are, are higher, et cetera, uh, the more aggressive you can be and the better chance you have of winning with paid ads. Um, so. Like, you know, let's look at that number, you know, $330. That'd be a really comfortable lead cost on, on most platforms, whether that's Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, LinkedIn, et cetera. Um, companies today that are trying to get, you know, really low cost per lead, whether that's a lead or a free trial sign up, really doesn't matter. You know, we have companies that come and they say we, they want $20, $30 leads. Um, sometimes that's possible, but but it's, it's a harder number to accomplish these days. You know, back in the day, five plus years ago, you know, that wasn't really a problem. Um, today, we like a sweet spot of, you know, $100 or more, or at least 50, 50 to $100, you know, today being, uh, you know, the end of February 2022. 20, um, those numbers are a lot more comfortable for us. Um, but let's say in this example, you know, you get to a point of $330 per target cost per lead, really healthy number. Obviously, the goal is to get it lower, right? So then the question becomes, you know, how are we going to get there? So let's say our estimated cost per click on, let's say, Facebook is, is, is five bucks. Well, doing the math over there, that would assume that we need to convert 1.5% of customers that, that click on our ad need to become leads. And, and that'll get us there. You know, if our if our cost per click goes up, let's say to seven bucks, well, that means we need to get a, a two plus percent current conversion rate. And obviously the, the numbers towards the top of the funnel are going to work backwards to affect, you know, how do we get to, you know, back into the target CAC that we need to get to. So anyways, hope this is, is helpful for you guys. Uh, I'm going to share the link to this spreadsheet and make this uh, publicly available um, together with this post, um, you guys can play with it. Think about, you know, what can you afford to pay? Obviously, this is a simplistic example over here. Things can get more complicated when you start doing lead scoring. What percentage of people are going to get to MQLs? What percentage of MQLs are going to get to SQLs? Which one, how many will get come to opportunities, et cetera. But uh, I think this gives you a general approach for how we could be thinking about things. So got any questions? Let me know. Happy to help. Have a great day.